Hi, my name's Ruan and this is the Yorkshire Sew Girl. I thought I'd do a really quick video because I haven't been around for a couple of weeks and that's because I got to go on my holly bobs. So we went off to Lanzarote for a week, which was very strange with the whole COVID thing, but it all went swimmingly, it was all really safe and I am so glad that we did it because we all needed a bit of a break and it did us the world of good to just not have anything to have to do. Brilliant. No routine, not having to get up early in the morning, not even having to wear a watch, just cracking on and spending quality family time together. So that has been awesome. Now, this weekend we're going away again. We're going over to Ireland to see my best friend who lives um, in Northern Ireland. So we're going as a family over for a long weekend. And then the weekend after we've got Legoland. So it is cray cray at the moment. So I don't know when I'll get to do another one, but I thought what I'll do is I'll come on and do a quick one. Just say hello, I am still alive. And then you'll probably see in the background here, I'm gonna try and do another vlog, which will be all about the things I've made recently. But if I put all of this in this one, it'd be mega long. So I thought I'll just do a quick, chatty hello goodbye i am still here because yeah someone's had to take a bit of a um a bit of leave at the moment because it's just been too busy basically um and other priorities with the kids being off school I want to spend some really good time with them and it's been crazy at work we've just moved offices so it's just yeah a bit mind-boggling at the moment but you know we're getting there, but I'm itching to get back in my sewing room. I've carved out a little bit of time this evening to do some, so I'm really pleased. So I'll go through what I've made um, in my next vlog, and I'll try and get that done as soon as I can, basically. But I thought, come on today, um, just do my So Holy Jane unboxing, which I love to do every month. You've probably seen other people's as well, but like I say every time, if you like me, you like to watch several of them because we're a little bit crazy, aren't we, in this sewing world? So I'll do that. Um... But before that, I just wanted to show you these. Oh, yes. So my boss um, is having a bit of a clear out um, in her house and she had, she brought this bag into work of patterns and they were all knitting patterns, but in the, amongst the knitting patterns were some vintage sewing patterns. So she asked if I'd like them and I said, yes, please, if you don't mind. Um, I was a little bit concerned because I thought the sizes might be quite out because I know a lot of vintage patterns are, you know, for smaller sizes and I'm not exactly a teeny tiny girl. So, but I've had a quick flick through them. I haven't had time to really sit and peruse them a lot, but um, it looks like actually measurements wise, I might be all right. So I've never, I don't normally do big four pattern companies anyway. I do prefer independent pattern companies. But I want to explore a bit more and um, I just thought doing a vintage pattern would be awesome. So I'm going to have a look through these and I'm going to try and attempt to make one of them by the end of the year. Anyway, we'll see. So the first one is this one, which is Butterwick 5679. Look how much it was. 35p. Can you imagine if patterns were like that now? Oh my God. And it's a lovely kind of retro shift dress pattern i think it's absolutely beautiful i absolutely love it and it goes from a size what looks like a 12 to a 22 don't really get it 100 percent. i need to have a good look at it so um there's two different dresses one that's got like a higher neck on it and one with a lower neck one this one's got um sleeves as well which is quite nice so i'm thinking maybe for autumn time even at work i think this would be really really nice and it's um it looks like it's panelled as well so it give good good options you know to mix and match maybe color block so that was one of them this one was also 35p and it's a style um pattern three two four seven how funky is that and this is the line drawings on the mat look so you've got the dress version it looks like they're also doing like a blouse version as well, a short sleeved and a long sleeve, which looks really nice. So I'm loving the look of that because if you look at the front, it's kind of a pinafore dress almost with buttons down and again panelled, which I like the look of. 
so yeah like and look at that and that looks like sizes wise it would be fine as well then we have this one i mean it's so cool simplicity 9748 i mean this one's a bit more expensive to be honest it's very expensive this one it's 40p this one is in a 35p but look at that bad boy so that's got trousers massive flared trousers how cool is that the blouse pattern oh one moment my battery is getting low you probably can't see that it's just see me randomly pointing at my camera um it's got a blouse pattern which i think looks beautiful with a high neck and um and then this like pinafore dress style loving it absolutely love it and again size wise looks good people then we've got another style one this is 10 at 10 and this is 50p <sighs> pushing it now aren't they but i do know that some of them have just one specific size in so that might be where i come a cropper in fact let me have a look at the other ones is there any others oh the only other one that's got a specific size is a size 16 with a bus 38 and i'm a 39 so well, I kind of like to think I'm a 39, but after Christmas, I still haven't got all that weight off, so maybe a bit more now, but that looks pretty cool as well. Um, so, yeah, I quite like the look of this one here without actually without the collar. I thought that looked really nice. And look at the sleeves, people. Look at the sleeves. Now, I don't normally do A-line skirts. I've always thought that they don't really suit me. Um... But I love the skirt on the spring dress by Nina Lee. I'm not saying that that's A-line, but it's a lot wider than it would be that I that I would normally wear, even though it's tiered. So I think that would be a possibility as well. And then last but not least is another style one, 3883, which is uh, this one here. I think this one's probably my least favourite, but I still love it. I actually really, really like all five patterns. So this one's a lovely dress pattern, look, with a collar or without. And then look, this one's got like a big, what looks like, the line drawings aren't very good, like a braiding all the way down the middle of it. Love it. Um, but that looks really nice and fitted in as well, which I think would look lovely maybe for Christmas as well. So I've got five patterns. So which one do you think, people? Let me hold them all up. Can you see? <laughs> there they are. So style 3883, Butterwick 5679, style 3247, Simplicity 9748, and style 1010. What do you think, guys? If I was to have a go at one of them, which one do you think I should have a go on? Oh, this one's a simple, this is one's an individual size as well. Look, it says on the back, size 14, which is a bust 36. I might be pushing it. I know. I need to get the actual pattern pieces out don't I, and have a good look at them. So, oh, look. And this one is as well. Half size. Half size. Look, 14 and a half, bust 37. So some of them might be too small for me anyway. Yeah. Maybe that one then. Because that one um, is 38 bus, so I'd probably just about get away with that. Maybe. Yeah, so I need to get the pattern piece out and have a good look at them. But how cool are they? So I've got five of them. I'm having them. Oh, and the other thing that I'm doing at the moment um, is the next thing that I'm planning on making. I don't know what I'm looking at yet. Who's going to hear me? Why I'm whispering? Because my mum doesn't watch my YouTube channel anyway. But it is her birthday next week. It's my birthday next week and my mum's. My mum's is the day before mine. Um, she says now that she was in labour the whole day on her birthday. And I think that's because I wanted my own day. I didn't want to share my birthday, obviously, with my mother. So I really wanted to make her something nice for her birthday. So I had seen the lovely Karen from So Little Times Lucida dress by the Friday Pattern Company. And I absolutely fell in love with it immediately. And I just know this is a pattern that my mum would really like as well, a dress. My mum loves a good dress. So if, for anybody who hasn't seen it before, this is the Lucida dress by Friday Pattern Company. So it's a knit pattern um, with short capped sleeves. And then this bit here is rushed together with then an A-line skirt. My mum really suits an A-line skirt. So I, I messaged Karen and said, you got any tips? Give some tips, love. And she said, yeah, absolutely. Make sure you go for cotton jersey. Try and line the back as well as the front. 
make sure you add some length to it because if you hashtag it you'll see that you know you'll be flashing your knickers if you're not careful so um so i've done all of that i've cut it all out and i'm ready to sew so i'm going to try and do that this weekend because my mum came on holiday with us and we only got back on monday and she's going on holiday again on wednesday and her birthday is on thursday so i've got to get her birthday present done by tuesday because she's leaving on wednesday which leaves me less time to do it and i've got plans all weekend <laughs> So that is my plan. And the fabric I ordered from, hmm, I think it was Minerva actually. I don't normally buy a lot from Minerva, but I saw something come up and I was like, that is her all over. This is the tiniest bit ever. Let me get you a bigger bit. And it's a cotton jersey with these, and it's, I actually thought it was a white background on the internet. It The image looks like it's a white one and they also do a dark background with beautiful colours on as well. And I was going to get that one for my mum, but I thought this one's a bit more summery. But actually, when it's come, it's like a really pale blue. You can see, yeah, it's coming up quite well on the camera, actually. But look at the splashes of colour in those. Oh, it is beautiful. So I'm trying to make it and praying that it's going to fit her out of the packet, but we'll see. So, yeah, it's got loads of good stretch as well. So if not, it's got a bit of leeway in it. That's another thing Karen said. It's very forgiving. I thought that'll do. That'll do if I'm making it for somebody else, won't it? So yeah, the Lucida dress. So once I've done that, and as soon as she's got it and hopefully tried it on and it fits her, I'll take some photos and then I'll put that in my makes video when I ever get round to doing it. So last but not least, I'm going to just show you my So Hayley Jane box, if you're not interested. It was lovely to see you again. Um, and I'll see you on my next vlog. But if you are interested like me, then stick around and I'll show you because it turned up this week and it's so exciting so this was the classic box which is the medium box so there's mini classic luxury mini you get one meter of fabric classic you get two and a half luxury i think you get i don't know if you get a set amount or whether it's just enough to make the pattern at this end i can't remember i need to check that out but you also get it's a luxury fabric so it's a designer fabric plus a pattern but I go for the classic one, which is enough for me. Although I think I would like to treat myself to the luxury one every now and again. <gasps> in fact, it's my birthday, isn't it? So maybe this this month will be the month. So for everybody that's already seen this, you get your beautiful yellow tissue paper inside. And the theme, sorry if this is a bit rustly, try and do it quick, is Lazy Hazy Days. Look at that. You can't beat a bit of sunflower, can you? I love a bit of flowers in his life. Lazy, hazy days. Oof, I would love some lazy days. Um, Yeah, so basically Hayley's just saying, how is it possibly August already? And I agree with her. It is ridiculous. Um, Then we've got an interview here. So Hayley always has an interview with a small business. Um, And this is a really good one. I haven't read the whole article yet. I've just skim read it. But that's one of the things we've got in our box this time. And look at that beautiful print so it's called an art postcard sewing sunflowers look that lady is sat there sewing a big dress or carpet of sunflowers it's beautiful and that's been done by a lady called georgia camden so you get to learn a bit more about the people the independent businesses um in the magazine as well which is really nice because you do several times i've found companies through this that i've then bought from which is nice what else have we got in here Oh my God, this make of the month was incredible. Can I just say that? I know it's probably my favourite fabric ever in the whole world, which was the pink and navy leopard print viscose that we got in one of our boxes. But this lady, Lucy, has made the McCall's M8069. And for any of you that are on Instagram, this is the sewing gardener. But just look at that. I mean, is that not a dream garment or what? I mean, wow, I still haven't cut into mine. And you know, I've got two lots of that fabric as well because I've actually put, purchased some of it before I got my box. So I'm still scared to make something out of it, even though I've got so much of it. Ridiculous, I know. Then there's a three boxes, three makes, um, which is where um, three ladies get a box each prior to us receiving it and they make something out of it. And then it's featured in the magazine, which I love the idea of. We'll go into that too much because then you'll see my fabric that I like to leave till the end you know but at least to say 
these people are very clever in what they do and every time they make something I'm like oh yeah I need to make that <laughs> oh we need to make that and then we've got the Fat Quart project which is from uh, the lovely Tamlin on Sewn on the Tine and this time she's made a book pillow which I think is so cute or reading cushion look at that so you've got like a cushion and then you tuck your book into it I really like really like the idea of that I think that'd be quite nice in bed if you were reading as well to have your book rested on the on the cushion so I think I might have to have a bash at that one so there's obviously all the instructions Tamlin puts all the instructions on how to make it which is great so we can get some use out of our fat quarters um then there's a little bit about Hayley and what she really is liking at the moment tv wise food wise it doesn't necessarily have to be about sewing because we all love food don't we let's face it um which I always quite like and then there's a profile um of a so Hayley Jane subscriber and it's the lovely Ruth from Ruth Creates and she's made some crackers on there so I um I follow Ruth so I'm really looking forward to um having a look now she made a dress out of the fabric we got last month which was the cotton was it a cotton poplin I can't remember that had boats and anchors on and stuff and I was a bit like oh I don't think I'd wear that as a garment but look what she's made it looks amazing tell me that doesn't look good so I don't know whether I'm gonna have to copy it they say um what is it um copying is like the best form of flattery or something like that it's m much better than the what I how I've just said it but you know what I'm trying to say um yeah so I think she's kind of made me think twice about what I want to do with that fabric because I absolutely love that dress and how nice would it be for holiday anyway I'm rabbiting on then there's the pattern picks which is from the lovely ladies at the fold line um this is a new Asta top which I, I think it's new anyway from the patterns room which I quite like no sleeves like swing dress there's um the um is it the Raymond dress by Tammy Ann made I'm not sure how you pronounce that but I've been looking at that I've recently bought the rear dress by um Tammy Handmade which I haven't got round to making yet but um that was in the makerist two dollar sale thing when they put that on so I was like I'm having that um but because the weather's not that cracky in the UK at the moment I'm kind of thinking do I want to wait and do that next year maybe because I really do like you know the animal print fabric that I was just telling you about that I'm scared to cut into I was thinking that for the Tammy Handmade readdress and then I actually saw someone on Instagram yesterday who'd made that dress in that fabric. How weird is that? And it looked incredible, by the way. Um, and then there's also Maker's Gallery on the back as well, which shows loads of people that have actually made product out of Haley's fabrics. So that's lovely. It's great to have that with a cup of tea. You always learn a little bit new as well. And I like, like it when there's someone in there that I follow. I was going to say that I know. I don't know any of them, obviously, but I feel like I do because I follow them on Instagram. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, oh, sweet treat. I haven't eaten them yet. No, I've got two children, haven't I? I always say this, don't I? I've got two children. I've got two children. But they would never know if these were eaten, would they? I'm, I'm looking around the sewing room where I can hide them. <laughs> I'll just put them in this little pot over here. No one needs to know about it. I do like a lollipop. Right, fat quarters this month are beautiful. There's four of them in the classic box. Look at that. I love blue and white together. I don't know what it is about it, but I think it's probably my favourite combination other than pink and red. Um, blue and white just does it for me. I just think it looks stunning. And this is white with like little blue crosses all over it. Beautiful. And then I love this. Do you know what? It reminds me of a really summer day picnic blanket type thing. The colours in it are beautiful loving it and then there's two beautiful sunflower ones every time I was gonna say beautiful it's beautiful so there's this one which is literally sunflowers all over look and then there's this one which is so cute which has got like the splashes of blue and everything in it and pink which matches in them with the blue and white on the other one clever out there these people that do these designs then the little bits that we got in with it this month is some sewing needles perfect they're just general ones um so 70 to 100 you can't go wrong with those to be honest i was actually looking through my sewing i look at stuff don't i all the time and i'm talking to you like you know where things are my needles are over there um i was looking at them the other day thinking i need to go through and do a bit of a i audit and check what i need to get but 
don't need to do that now because I've got those. Also got some, well, I think, is this piping cord? I'm not really sure. I like it anyway. But it's like a twisted white rope. And I'm thinking, is that actually just cord or is it like piping cord that you can make your own piping with? Because if it is, I'm hoping there's enough because I was thinking about doing the closet core poof. Um, and I was thinking it'd be really nice with piping around the top edge. And I think I'd have plenty there. So let me know, peeps. Is that is that for piping? I'm not quite sure. I think it is. And then the fabric. Two and a half metres. There was three different colours. Red, black, grey. And if I could have chosen... I haven't seen the grey one. So you know I haven't got the grey one. Um, I haven't seen the grey one, actually, from anybody that's opened one. Um, but if I could have chosen, I'd have gone for this one which is the black one. Now the red one looks beautiful. I've seen people open it actually. It's like a deeper red. It's not like a pillar box red, but there's something about black and white, isn't there? Let me just chuck this box down there. Deal with that later. This is it. Oh, it's so soft. Now I, it's a cotton and it is a beautiful quality cotton. You can feel it. It's not too heavy either, which is really nice, but it also doesn't feel too stiff. Now, I'm a bit weird with fabrics. I like soft fabrics. So my recent pyjamas that I've made in double gauze, oh my God, they're the best things I've ever made. I'm just going to make pyjamas in double gauze forever now. I don't want to buy any pyjamas ready to wear ever again. I'm just going to make those. And I love viscose because of how it flows. I love jersey for the same reason. Now, cotton, sometimes I can be a bit weird with if they're stiff. I'm not very good with stiff fabrics. I prefer flowy garments rather than structured garments and things like that. But I know I need to get out of my comfort zone. Um, so sometimes when I see cotton, I'm like, oh no, but oh my God, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So the reason I didn't show you the three makes, three ways, three boxes, three ways in the magazine is because a couple of the ladies had made stuff using the fabric. So someone who'd got the mini box had made shorts in them, which looked awesome. And then um, the classic box, they'd made a Bakerloo blouse by Nina Lee with a massive collar. Nice, nice touch. So, yeah, so I've got this and I'm trying to think what to make with it. Suggestions welcome below because... I think this will be good for going into winter as well, really. And that's what I'm trying to think about now. I know it sounds crazy because we're only in August, but you know what it's like with the UK. We don't tend to have an awful lot of amazing weather. So now I'm already starting to think about what I want going into autumn time. And now I think this is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, I need to have a good think about what I want to make with it. I've had so many ideas run through my mind that now I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I don't wear dresses as much in the winter, but if I could get away with wearing this with some black tights, then maybe I should think about that. If not, I could probably get a top and something else out of it. So, yeah, I'm not sure. If anybody's got any suggestions, I'm more than happy to have a look at it. But um, tell you what I did see. I saw something on Facebook yesterday and someone had made a saltwater slip by, I think that's by the Friday Pan Company. Is it? I can't remember. But they'd made it with um, a black gingham and it was absolutely gorgeous. So, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do, people. But yeah, so I thought I'd just come on, say hello. Um, and like I said last time, if anybody's interested in having a go at the So Hayley Jane boxes, I'll put a link down below. It's an affiliate link because I'm part of the affiliate programme and it gets you 10% off your first box, which is always good if you want to have a go at it. Totally up to you. I do get a small commission. Not interested. That don't bother me. That part of it. It's just great that I can offer you a discount. So all you have to do is put Ruan Ten in the checkout. I'll put that on here and in the description box below. So if you want to go and check it out and have a go at it, why not? It's great fun. I love it every month, as you know, because I've been receiving it for over a year now. So yeah, hope everybody's all right. Hope everybody's got loads of time for sewing. Not like me. Can you hear my kids and everything in the background? Wanna go to Thailand? Yeah, because everybody wants to hear that, don't they? Great stuff. But anyway, enjoy yourselves and hopefully I'll see you soon. I will go now before you have to hear my kids on the loo. <laughs>